Respirator Fit Testing Fit testing is a procedure used to determine how well a respirator fits, that is, whether the respirator forms a seal on the user's face or neck. If a good face piece to face seal is not achieved, the respirator will provide a lower level of protection than it was designed to provide. Fit testing is mandatory for all positive or negative pressure, tight fitting respirators. Before the fit test itself, an employee is given the respiratory equipment and shown how to put it on and take it off. Then the employee is allowed to choose the size and weight of the equipment components so the fit is comfortable. Once the employee chooses the desired respiratory equipment, a seal check is performed. If the seal is not tight, the employee will choose a different size or style of equipment that may fit their body better. There are two types of fit testing, qualitative fit testing and quantitative fit testing. Qualitative fit testing is a pass or a fail test. There is no numerical score involved. In qualitative fit testing, employees wear the respirator and stand in an enclosed space. A check is performed to make sure the seal is tight. Then different test agents such as Bitrix or Saccharin are introduced. If the employee can smell or taste the test agent, this indicates that the respirator has failed because a good face piece to face seal was not achieved. If an employee fails this qualitative testing, they must go choose a different respirator and try the test again. On the other hand, quantitative fit testing is a number-based assessment of how well a respirator fits an individual by measuring the amount of leakage into the respirator. Quantitative fit testing uses a machine to measure the actual amount of leakage into the face piece and does not rely upon the sense of taste, smell, or irritation in order to detect leakage. The respirators used during this type of fit testing will have a probe attached to the face piece that will be connected to the machine by a hose. There are three quantitative fit test methods accepted by OSHA. One, generated aerosol, two, ambient aerosol, and three, controlled negative pressure. Many workers need to wear prescription glasses or personal protective equipment such as safety goggles or earmuffs while performing a work task. Personnel who fall into this category must wear these items during the fit test to ensure they do not interfere with the respirator's fit. Facial hair, like a beard or mustache, can affect the respirator's fit. Anything that comes between the face and the respirator's seal or gets into the respirator's valves can allow contaminated air to leak into the respirator face piece, which means the worker will not be adequately protected. A fit test must be performed before a worker initially uses a respirator in the workplace and must be repeated at least every 12 months to make sure the respirator still fits properly.